When I learned this fact, it actually changed my life. Seriously, it rewired my brain chemistry. The way chemicals affect the brain is something so spectacular, there are entire fields of science devoted to it, obviously. <laughs> it's very complicated, but putting it in simple terms, medications go into the brain and interact with different parts of the receptors. There are many different receptors in the brain. Some reuptake neurotransmitters and kind of put them in little pockets. Some release neurotransmitters and let them do their thing. Some degrade neurotransmitters and inactivate them. But when you take medications, they will either activate or deactivate all of these mechanisms. And of course, depending on the molecule, that may be a good or bad thing. For example, SSRIs or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors will stop the reuptake of serotonin and thus increasing the levels in your brain. And this can be very beneficial for a lot of people. Methamphetamine, for example, does something similar, but with dopamine and just overload your brain with dopamine. But what the coolest part about all of this is that the brain is kind of spongy. And I mean that metaphorically speaking, because whenever you touch it with a chemical, it has the ability to change. Neurons can die or grow or different parts of the brain can access other parts of the brain, literally rewiring your brain. One of the best examples is ADD or ADHD. In essence, it's different parts of the brain aren't talking to other parts of the brain as well as they should be. And when taking medications to help with that, it increases dopamine levels and helps these connections form. 